Let's create Dollar Tree foam pumpkin hacks today. For this project, we're going to make a corn husk pumpkin, and we're going to take our Dollar Tree foam pumpkin, remove the stem, and then we're going to cover it with some cashew Waverly chalk paint. I took about two coats to cover the whole pumpkin. Then I took these corn husks that I got from Hobby Lobby. They come in a really large package. I think I spent $6 on them because they are half off right now. And at first I started to glue them from just the top, uh, like I was going around in a circle. But then I decided there's no reason why you can't glue them from the top to the bottom. So I went ahead and started gluing both sides of them down. You're going to want to find the biggest ones out of the package. You can use the smaller ones to kind of fill in any extra spaces if you want to but you're going to cover the entire pumpkin and I just use hot glue on both ends of the pumpkin. Then I had got this birch wood garland uh, I think last year at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section. I glued two pieces of that together to make my stem and then I have some raffia I glued that at the bottom of the stem and then I got these cute little corns at Hobby Lobby. They come in a package of I think 12 for like six dollars they're so cute anyway i think this turned out adorable i absolutely love it and i think it's pretty unique looking project we're going to make a fabric accent pumpkin and this is not one of the orange foam pumpkins but this one I found in the um, Dollar Tree Plus section and we're going to take some of my favorite Pioneer Woman fabric that I pick up at Walmart. You get the little bundles that you saw there in the whole package. I decided to use this one. I'm going to cut it up in the strips. I measured it from the top to the bottom and then we're just going to use some hot glue and we're going to glue those into the little, I guess you would call them spines of the pumpkin. This is a really easy project because you can just watch TV as you're gluing along. It is not hard. You're just going to uh, measure out your pump or your fabric strips mine are about an inch and then just glue it down so once I have all the pieces glued down I then decided that it needed a bow so I'm going to go ahead and use some of my fabric and then I used some of my burlap fabric ribbon it is a linen ribbon it's so pretty and I love the quality it's like pretty uh, thick ribbon I'll go ahead and leave a link to their uh, website if you want to check out any of their other linen ribbons but here it is styled in some decor Do you guys know what time it is? It's time to hit the like button. Don't forget so YouTube knows to send my video to more people so they can be inspired just like you. Let's get back to the DIYs. So for this project, we're going to do a fabric wrap pumpkin. And I went ahead and took two of the bundles of uh, fabric from the Dollar Tree. I've also wrapped a smaller of the foam pumpkins in jeans. And if you want to see that video, I'll link that down in the description box. But I'm going to go ahead and take my two fabric bundles. I cut them into strips. Again, they're about a one inch strip if you're trying to measure. I don't measure. I just kind of look, put my scissors and tear. But if you're wanting to measure, they're about an inch. And then I'm going to alter between the solid blue color and the plaid blue. So the plaid blue also has the same kind of color of blue from our solid fabric so it works really well together and you're just going to randomly go around and glue them. I went kind of um, like I was sectioning a circle into fractions, you know, this would be forced, and then I, I turned it, and then I'm going to go ahead and do that again, but whatever way that you choose to glue on your fabric would be fine. You just want to have strips, and you want them to be kind of intertwined together. So here it is after I've gotten it all covered with the fabric. I took another two pieces of my um, garland thing, and I glued those together to make my stem. If you can find the little stem pieces from Dollar tree those are my absolute favorite pumpkin stems my store didn't have them or I missed getting them this year which was a bummer uh, but if you can find those those work really well for pumpkin stems then to make my shabby bow I always take just several pieces of 
fabric and then I use one of the pieces of the fabric to tie it together because then it becomes part of the bow and you can't even tell, which is my favorite part. And then we're going to go ahead and tie on just another loose piece onto the bottom of our stem to cover up any of the stem pieces that might be showing and then glue on the front of our bow to that other piece that we had already tied on, trim off any excess and here it is styled in some decor. So for this project we're going to make a blooming pumpkin and you can make blooming pumpkins out of um, real flowers. I chose not to do that here. I wanted to use my solo wood flowers for this one. So I'm just taking various sizes and shapes and I'm going to go ahead and glue them all around the top of this pumpkin. I love solo wood flowers. There's so many things that you can do with them. This really becomes a really cute shabby chic pumpkin. Um, but you can use, they have actual plain colors as well. Dollar Tree sells um, some smaller of the solo wood flowers that you can actually dye or you could use the um, wood the actual wood flowers that Dollar Tree has I think that those are really pretty as well but we're gonna just go ahead and finish up gluing our solo wood flowers around the top and then we're gonna go ahead and add a little extra to our blooming pumpkin you could stop here if you wanted to um, you don't need to add the extra that I decide to add on to it um, but I think it looks really cute. So I took a piece, a couple of pieces of my excess fabric that I've been using this season. If you've been watching me, you've seen that fabric in a couple DIYs. But I cut little strips and I'm just going to go around underneath my solo wood flowers. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to take my scissors and kind of push my ribbon into that glue so it looks like it's underneath there. And I'm going to add about four of those around the pumpkin. Then once I have those glued onto the pumpkin, I am going to go back and take some pearls that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to add those pearls to the ribbons underneath the flowers. I think this turned out so cute. I had my son vote on the project that he liked the most and this was actually his favorite pumpkin of the video. Let me know if this is your pumpkin or if one of the other pumpkins went out for you. My favorite pumpkin of this video happens to be the corn husk one but you guys let me know down below which one of these turned out to be your favorite. farmhouse DIYs and shabby chic DIYs and this is a channel for you. I combine them together and I make what I like to call shabby farmhouse. So hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video and let's get back to the DIYs. So for this project, we're going to make a coffee filter pumpkin, and I have to tell you guys, this is the ugliest yet cutest pumpkin I think I've ever made. Um, I went ahead and took these coffee filters, I tore them in half, they don't have to be perfect, you can cut them if you want to, um, and then I just wad wadded them up in a bow. You could also do this with toilet paper, I decided as I was like halfway through this pumpkin, but you're just going to do several of them, and then we're going to start hot gluing them around the pumpkin. Now, a note here, you could add the stem prior to adding your coffee filters if you wanted and then put the coffee filters around the stem um, that would be an option too I didn't do that and it still turned out absolutely adorable so it's up to you um, but here we are just going to glue these all around as I was gluing these um, I just kept thinking to myself wow this is pretty ugly then when I got to this part it reminded me of George Washington <laughs> you guys let me know if you see a sheep George Washington what do you see in the face of that pumpkin slash animal. <laughs> anyway, you're going to cover the entire pumpkin with your coffee filters. Then we're going to make another shabby bow using my golden white uh, fabric and some jeans. And I think I snuck some of my burlap fabric ribbon in there too. We're going to go ahead, glue our stem down onto our coffee filters. Then we're going to go ahead and attach our bow. And I decided this needed a little something. You could stop here if you wanted to, or if you don't have the solar wood flowers, this particular flower came from the Dollar Tree. So I am going to just go ahead and glue 
glue that right in the middle of the bow and here it is styled in some decor. crazy about those Dollar Tree foam pumpkins? Well, keep crafting with me here at this video and this video for some more inspiration. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.